Hey guys, what's going on? Bobby here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is the final episode of the Cart Rebuild series and the first episode in the Ignite Challenge series. We got the number 51 ready to hit the track in the previous episode and today we're going to be driving it around the Gateway Cartplex, home of the Ignite series and we're going to pretty much shake it down, make sure it's good to go for 61 cartways. We have spent a lot of time in the garage to ensure that this thing is ready to go and today is the true tail sign if we did everything properly. So, moment of truth, we haven't fired it up yet, so gotta make sure she works properly. Well, you know what? I got good news. We did four laps. <laughs> Two of them were in the 36s, so it's fast. I lost the brakes going to the North Pole. <laughs> Safety clip thing didn't work there. I don't want to say stuff like that happens because it's not supposed to happen. But uh, besides that, I was pretty impressed. I got nothing else to really say at the moment. We'll fix the brakes though and we'll try it again. So we only completed four laps in the last session, but if you take a look here at the Micron, Two of those laps were starting to get in the 36s before we even really started hammering down on it. So I think we can probably get to a really low 36, possibly even a 35, which would be way above and beyond what I would have expected out of this test. That's pretty quick. I mean, the fastest guys in senior are probably mid 35s. So I don't know if track conditions are going to allow that kind of speed. But uh, even with a little bit of the failure that we fixed with the brakes, um, pretty, pretty impressed with that. So we're gonna give it another session, maybe another one after that, and then we're gonna call it good for 61 cartways. We don't wanna put too many miles, too many laps on it. We wanna keep it fast if it is fast. Lost the chain somehow. I don't know. Oh, this is strange. I'm not sure if maybe we were rubbing against the seat strut again. Speed wise, I don't think we really necessarily went much faster. 36 fives consistently. This is unfortunate. What we did was we tried to mount it a little bit more inboard and we talked about that and described it in the episode. Well, we put it too close, so we think that we were having the chain rub up against the seat strut, which in return, when we went under load, the seat strut hit the chain, which caused the chain to jump off. Um, it ripped the plastic sprocket cover off, so we have now fixed that issue. And right now, we're actually moving the uh, motor mount studs from that hole there to this guy here. And we're hoping that that'll open up some clearance.
concludes the test day very successful it's unfortunate that we had the issues that we did but I'm glad that we found them here on the home turf and that we didn't get to 61 cartways and have any of those major issues um, those last two sessions were, were really good and I'm pulling it up on the micron real quick that last session was the uh, fastest session that we ran we got to a uh, pretty much 36 flat which you know for me if I can get in that you know, 35.8 to a 36.2, I say that's pretty good. Um, there are a couple things I would like to still change on this machine. Uh, the size four seat just feels a little too loose for me, which is a good thing. That means that I've lost some weight and uh, would probably fit better in a three. So given the time, I'll either put some padding in it or we'll switch it over to a three. And then the only other thing that I can say that I've noticed just by a quick look around post session is that we do have some uh, fuel residue coming from the bottom of the, uh, the carburetor. So this gasket is leaking or we have another leak somewhere up here on the carburetor. Um, but that didn't, I mean, that might have hindered our speed a little bit. Um, not, not by too much, if, if at all. So I'm still extremely happy with uh, the results from today's test. It's unfortunate we had the issues, but we got it fixed and that's what testing is all about. Can't expect to put a cart like this together last minute, drive all the way to Iowa and plan to be successful. If we had to fix all those issues in practice, well, you just ruined your practice doing stuff to the cart that you should have been spending learning the track or working on setup, not actually getting it to be a functional cart. So really happy with how today went, two thumbs up. Um, if you or someone you know is interested in renting an Ignite cart, I have carts for uh, rent with my Bobby Krug Racing Services. Ding. And then in addition to the uh, cart rentals, I also uh, do driver coaching, uh, cart maintenance if you already own your own cart. So if you're interested, feel free to uh, get in contact with me. The link's down below for all that information. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Next time we see each other will be for the uh, 61 Cartways vlog. So looking forward to going to Iowa. Never been there before. It'll be a good time. I know we've got a a solid cart, solid foundation that we can build off of uh, going into Iowa. So thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. Never miss an episode. And I will see you guys in the next one.